Well, I decided I'm going to print an entire guitar body on the Elegant Neptune 4 Max, the big boy. The whole body is going to fit on this print bed just barely. And I haven't had it turned on in a, a while, uh, really, since the Centauri Carbon arrived, because the Centauri Carbon's easy. You hit a couple buttons and you hit print, and the part comes out damn near perfect every time. So after, I think it took five different tries to get the Z height dialed in so it would actually stick to the bread bed and print. And now they're coming out okay. I printed with the maximum, the 0.28 layer height. So it's gonna be a little uh, less refined looking than the ones I printed on the other printer. A little bit more artifacts on this. I probably need to go through and run the, uh, the PID tuning and uh, well, let's see what else we have available here. If I go to the advanced settings, input shaping, PID, we can do that one again. I think those are really the only options that I have. Let's see if I get that to pop off yet. There we go, without getting my fingers all over the bed. So those popped off all right. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the input shaper so this is a whole lot more manual than what happens here on the centauri carbon where all you do is come down here and hit input shaping and it does everything or the automatic that's really the easier way you just hit that and it runs through all of the different things once you pick the appropriate build plate that is um it runs through and does all of the different tests uh, or calibrations. This one, like sensor start detection. Okay, this one has more manual steps to do. The leveling, oh my goodness. The leveling with the wheels and the using a paper under it, that was a nightmare as usual. And then the Z height wasn't even close using the paper to set it at the appropriate height. So super frustrating as it always is. Uh, it took way more time than I'd like. Really makes me appreciate how quick and easy the Centauri Carbon is. But it doesn't have a print bed big enough to print an entire guitar body. And that's what I'm working on. So back to the N4M. Do you think it's gonna work?